Hello, this is Priscilla Batzel. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. That is a 10 by 20 inch canvas and I have added some black paint around the edges. It was meaden, not that that's important. You could use whatever you want. I am going to spread some Amsterdam Floetrol and GAC 800 mixed and do a Barbie pour, Barbie swipe. I don't want too much and I don't want too little and I'm hoping that I get it. Guess right. I will be swiping with Amsterdam also, but it will be included with it will be mixed with Australian Floetrol. If it don't seem like I have enough, I'm gonna add some more. Because you need to have a certain amount of slideability on your base. So far, so good. I kind of want some more, but I think if I if I wait to assess the situation, by the time I'm done spreading all of it, I'll probably be less inclined than I am right now. Best not to jump the gun. No, that looks pretty good. Just enough so it won't come off while I push it across the canvas and spread it out in a somewhat even layer. Now I've got a whole, I'm a color art affiliate and I've got a whole lot of beautiful pinks from color art, which reminds me, I've got one of them. No, maybe I pulled it out. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to be starting with jasmine, but I want some Chantilly lace too. I kind of want to go from here down. This is my jasmine. Might as well give it a shake. It's a primary element and the Chantilly lace is a prism pour. I'm going to mix it with a little bit of pink diamond. And then include some Frosted berry. All that's prism pour. I've got some pink carnation, which I've really enjoyed using lately. And I want to throw a little rogue element in there, a little vivid, intense periwinkle. And maybe, just for grins, a little wild orchid. Now, I've also got Vivid Intense Magenta, Fluorescent, which I thought would be fabulous. And Fluorescent Pink. Where's my Miami magenta? What have I done with that? I found it! Yay! So, Miami magenta is another prism pour. And I'm going to head back one more time. Give myself more jasmine. Before I mix a little bit of Indian Spice Gold in there, which kind of, I wonder if it's a good idea because I kind of think it should be more like silver, true silver would be good. Do I love that? I think, I think I do actually. What have I got? Pink Diamond. Now I kind of wish I had grabbed an edge catcher 
and I don't have any handy. Oh, I got something I can use. Yay. I just want to bring the paint all the way over to the edge. This reminds me of how I did that a flower recently. Pretty, pretty, pretty colors. Actually, I love this. Push it down. There we go. Now I'm going to grab my longest spatula, I think it is, and some of the Australian Floetrol and Amsterdam Black, taking the tab off the top. I want it on the right side. And I want that cat hair gone. Part of me wants to use white. I'm not sure if that would be a good idea. I'm not perfectly accustomed to white. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm not sure about that yet, but I think if I take my edge catcher and allow it to flow back again, I might be able to stretch it out. I might even be able to take some of that paint off and put it on elsewhere. So why don't I just do that? I'm pretty happy with that. I'm thinking that I want to take this paint off of here. I don't think I really mind. I didn't get much of a, a bad reaction at all from the Indian Spice Gold. And I probably will do something with my residuals. It's easy enough to get them up with the Axo Omelette Turning Flip and Fold Spatula. That you can find on my Amazon link, which reminds me, you should look for the 20% off color art coupon code. It might even be more right now. So I'm going to come up this way, and it's time to do it. This time I'm going to go right to the edge of the frosted berry. And I'm contemplating some wild orchid in the initial lay down of colors. And more periwinkle, vivid intense. More pink diamond. Try and get a little bit more of the Indian spice in it this time. I'm going to put the carnation down. I love those colors together, honestly. I'm going to put my jasmine down last. This is the magenta vivid intense. being generous. Pink, more vivid, intense pink. And the Miami Magenta, the Prism Pour. The colors will be listed underneath the video. And like I said, last but not least,
the jasmine. Lots and lots of jasmine. Use the same spatula. I have shorter ones. I'm kind of nervous because I have a much le smaller span. Like a little black left in between. Kind of want to use all of that. Let's see what'll happen, if anything, by spreading it. I kind of don't mind that, but I also want a little something, something coming up from out down here. I think I'm going to take the paint I've got. my edge catcher and utilize it. So let's just do that. I need it. I want my larger spatula. really tempted. I might keep those patterns intact. Might have to use the edge catcher again, even though it might not be big enough. I kind of like the difference between what I made with the cell activator and the stripe, stripey residuals. But I think I'm going to have to pour it off to a degree. No, I love those colors. I've got a little bit more right here. I wish I could have kept the stripes in there. Well, maybe I'll get some in a second. Barbie would be proud. Come on, fingernails work. Oh, I picked up a piece of schmutz. Now if I get a little more paint, oh I love what's happening with the paint. Down here spreading out, it looks awesome. What a great excuse. I think I'm just going to keep sending that in the, the same direction. I kind of like the cells that I've got, the weird ones down there. I'm painty. Did I get enough stripes? I really didn't get what I was hoping for. But I've got a little something, so maybe I'll use it. Yeah, it's a different texture. I like that. Cool. Very cool. If I need to do, I'm going to make an adjustment. Get my line the way I like it. Do I want anything else? I kind of do.
Chantilly looks, lace looks kind of silvery, which is pretty cool. And I'm going to use my straw and maybe a skewer if I can find a good one. They seem to all be... Wow, really beautiful cells. Sorry about my head. It's a pretty organic Indian spice line. I'm going to torch. I'm going to take the paint off the edges too. That's fun. I've got my torch. Yep, right here. I'm not sure which way up is the best way. But I do love combining every shade I've got of the same color or similar. I might put a little tiny bit more Indian Spice right there. I love you guys. I have 31 lists, going on 32 I would imagine, of uh, playlists with 100 videos on them each. Where else? I have a little tiny bit showing here, but not much else. Just give it a dot over there. Blow it around till it looks integrated. Oh, oh and I've got a little bit right here too. Alright, so I think I should tell you whatever I'm going to tell you, which is don't forget that 20% off color coupon code and right next to it, if you find it under the video, there's a Pixel Paint Designs coupon code for 10% off and that's where you can get Australian Floatrol Boom Gel, Pebio Paints, I almost made that into a heart, but it's a couple little cells. I don't want that to be a heart. It's not looking like a healthy heart though. There, it's an abstract heart. A less abstract. You guys take care of each other, take care of yourselves. I'm gonna give a shimmer a shot. Oh wow. That's totally gorgeous. I did not need an excuse to do this. A Barbie Bonanza. <laughs> Woo! Let me zoom in if I can. I think I've wanted to do this secretly for a long time, to tell you the truth. It's beautiful. It's way, way more beautiful up close than it is under the monitor. The cells are tremendous. Really, really pretty. I recommend trying this out. So what have I forgotten? Thank you for your kind words and your comments and your donations through PayPal. Thank you for joining the membership. I hope you're enjoying over 200 videos for members only 